It is baking, of course. We have cake by Courtney here today, and you've made it easier than ever because you have a kit to get that yes. scratch taste, right? Yes, Welcome, Courtney right. Rich. Thank you. Like you're saying, we've got the um, the new cake subscription boxes, and we'll get into this cake in just a minute. But since you brought that up, um, I'm, I've basically hopefully take, taken out a lot of the extra work of tracking down certain ingredients, measuring things out. Um, my kids love to bake with me. And by packaging like everything pre-measured, it makes it really easy for them to pour it into the mixer. We're not making a huge yeah. mess. Because a lot of people baking from scratch is taking the box from the grocery store yes. and adding, which is <laughs> which is good, and it comes right out of the oven. And it's quick and easy, and I think fun for kids to learn that way. Because my son would read the back of a box and learn how to to bake with just a few ingredients. Right. But when we're baking from scratch, it's not that many more ingredients that we need to add. But the flavor and the texture is mm -hmm. so different, so much better when we're doing it from scratch. You might be afraid, though, to cook, make a cake from scratch. Well, and I hopefully am breaking it down. So with the okay. subscription box, you're getting all, like, anything you don't need from your refrigerator already mm -hmm. pre-measured. It's, mm -hmm. like, categorized. You can see the cake, the frosting. If there's fillings, it comes in the extras. I love that. And then you have my recipe card um, with everything else that you need to get um, and instructions. Um, we get a cute cake topper from My Mind's Eye, and you get a free memory book from Chapbook. You can go ahead and print your pictures wow. of your cake. So we have oh. lots of fun things. In the in the box for subscribers. And so every month is a different theme. Yes. So for March you had the <laughs> grasshopper cake. Yes, theme. we had the grasshopper pie cake. And this month, um, for April, it's gonna be my uh, carrot apricot cake. Got it. So that's the one we're putting together now. Um, and we'll see. I'm going to have you do it because you practiced a bunch this weekend with your right. grasshopper pie cake. Right. It looks awesome. I want to dig into that, by <laughs> so the way. So you're, you're here for classes, but right. you're yes. sold out. And that yes. is the awesome thing about these kits because you guys sent some to us. So our director, Jeff, and myself, he did it with his daughter. And then I tried it out with my kids. And here's how it went down. <laughs> Take a look. Ready to bake the cake? Yep. Who's going to help me with that? I got two awesome helpers. So excited! We have our instructions here. And the first thing we need to do, it looks like we have to do our cookie crust first. You ready? Yes. As we're mixing our crust, the next ingredient is... Butter! Are you excited for the butter, Ray Ray? Oh, yes ma'am! Onto the cookie crust. All right, so one, two, three, four. The ganache seems good. If my son was in here, I'd let him taste this. He's missing out. And here's the filling. This is for our frosting. My babies are gone. I don't know, I guess they're tired. What do you think? It looks good. Here we go. We're doing the edge here. Just gonna spread it. <laughs> See Aww. the smiles, and that's what matters most because I think these are memories they'll take with them forever. Yes, what a fun of time! Course. And oh my this gosh, is I'm your masterpiece. <laughs> I'm trying this. Give it a, give it I a love shot, eating my cake when <laughs> someone else makes it. Mm. Jen, mm. it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Bravo. Oh. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you. Thank now you I'm going to have chocolate in my teeth, but <laughs> it was worth it. Oh, awesome. All right. Sorry, guys. Mm. So, so, one thing, yeah, one thing I feel like I need to help with was what you're going to show us today. Yeah. So, kind of like the frosting and then the tip to freeze the cakes and all yeah, that good so, stuff. So, um, I like working with chilled cakes. So, after they've baked, I let them get to room temperature and then I'll freeze them. And you can even freeze them for a week or two. Just okay. wrap them in saran wrap. So that way you're not having to go, oh, I've got to do everything in yes. one day yeah. and wait for it to cool and all yeah. that. So Look at how many steps you have and spread it across a few days. So then on the day of your event or your party that you're celebrating, you just have to stack and decorate. And it feels a little less overwhelming. That's yeah. a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> and you still <laughs> have that you. great taste. Yes, right? great taste. So I've already stacked two layers, but I just want to show you. You always want to, if you have like a little dome on your cake, make sure to level it off with a serrated knife. Um, okay. But having the right tools is super helpful. You don't have to. I make cakes with a plate and a knife all the time. But this is an offset icing spatula. So, Jen, I'm going to have you turn okay. the turntable. So, a turntable is a great tool to have. 
because you'll just be able to handle the cake so much easier. You and one you of can these. buy one of those turntables and the special is uh, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that, and they're not that. Yeah, yeah. you expensive. can find them I online. I feel okay. Fantastic. Okay. And then <laughs> let's go ahead. Okay, let's pipe a rim of frosting. So I'll do half of it, and then I want you to finish. This way, we have a softer filling on the inside. That Mike, you want to take that? It so much easier when you're, sp here, spin the okay, thing. I'll spin. Okay, I'll <laughs> spin. You pipe. Yeah, and this is like, there's your teamwork with your kids, right? That I makes love it very seeing the kids. Easy. I love yes. this. But the, this the, is uh, going to hold season. in our soft filling here. We have an apricot jam. Now, because apricots aren't in season right now, you can just use a store bought jam. But I do love to make a homemade apricot compote, mm. and that's what you'll find in the recipe. Okay. Um, and then, Mike, Jen, grab some of this the white favorite. chocolate pretzel filling and let's stuff Wait, this. Wait, say, say that again. Tell us white what this is. Chocolate pretzel crack filling. We were trying to figure <laughs> out, and you could put this on yogurt and pretend it's granola. Yeah. Uh, and you said you can take anything healthy and make it unhealthy. Yes, mm -hmm. I can. It's a gift. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. It goes on here, not in my mouth. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this adds just a nice little a bit little of a, a, a little crunch and a little saltiness. So good. Um, but I love a little texture in my cake. So we just want to make sure, you know, kind of pat that in so it stays level with the mm -hmm. rest of the cake. Um, and you'll see we've got the orange okay. and green going on. And I, love I like, like what Mike's doing. <laughs> He's yeah, like, let the more the better, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's perfect. You eat the rest. Thank Last you. cake layer always goes top side down. Oh, so okay. our really flat, smooth surface is here. Now, we're going to do just a really simple decorating idea. It kind of looks like a carrot was our mm -hmm. theme here. Uh, I'm going to take my straight icing spatula, and I'll come around to this side, and I'm just going to kind of layer it on. Oh, it's like a little bit of a rustic look. But okay. see how we're just doing that? Yeah. A lot of people think when they're doing a cake like this that it's got to come out and look like something out of a magazine. But you said it doesn't. Right? No, it doesn't. It's all about the flavor. And that's what people remember. So I think just start by teaching yourself how to bake a cake from scratch. Learning some of the rules that I like. Um, I, you want fresh ingredients. Baking soda and baking powder shouldn't be over six months old. Use room temperature ingredients. So things you grab from the refrigerator, your eggs, your buttermilk butter. Let those sit out for about an hour because as they're warmer, they're going to blend better with our dry ingredients that have the leavening agents. Our cakes rise better, get nice and fluffy, nice and even. And you said you got started in this because you had um, to bake a cake. Yeah, I, I needed to bake a cake for my son's first birthday. And to impress and, the in-laws. Right? And I was. I was trying to impress my in-laws. Okay? I did. They're great cooks. And I thought, I can't do something from a box. Um, but it just lit this fire inside of me because it tasted so amazing. It was a total train wreck as far as how it looked. Um, but, but, again, the but the taste, taste. but okay. the taste was great. And then look how cute we can just take a little piping tip and make it look like the top of our carrot, uh, so that we're not, you know, stressing okay. too much about how it looks. And, and we finish it off. And here's our fantastic our... tips, Courtney. Thank you. Thank very you. And much. we do have to eat this one. Oh, we we got to give you will. a good taste. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you cut that, and okay. we will do this. And again, some of the classes are sold out right now. But you can get more information on Cake by Courtney and the Cake Club on her website, and we have a link on oh, salive.com. Yeah, dig into that. Oh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. Put that apricot jam in there. <laughs> yes, okay. so just head to salive.com for more information, and remember, you can get a cake every month. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so much, Courtney. Thanks,